Pankan. What's up, guys? This is Ape Shit from Team Pankan, and I'm with CJ Showstopper. CJ, how are you doing? Let's go. Yeah. So, how long, how long have you been in the Philippines so far? I've been in the Philippines for let's see, a little more than a week. Okay. So, how how's your experience so far? Um. Best way to describe there is no best way to describe it. The the only way to describe it is uh, different. Um, every seems like every single facet, whether it becomes the, the kids, the, the the people, the houses, the area, the mannerisms of the people. It's just you know the biggest thing that shocked me was that you can go into a place and go shopping, and everyone's like hello sir, hello sir. They're they're there to help you get whatever you need. For that particular time that you're there, you know, mm -hmm. and um, you know, in America, it's not like that. You know, they um, have a little bit more of a chip on their shoulders. You know, uh, well, I'm not saying that it's bad, but you know, if you if, there, if you took a Filip uh, Filipino like yourself or anyone, and you went there, you like, whoa, you yeah. know what I mean? But that's you know one of the things. So like, do you have like any weird experiences in the Philippines so far? Like experiences here in the Philippines that you wouldn't normally experience in America? Hmm. Um, so many. <laughs> um, food. The dining experience. Oh yeah. What what kind of Filipino food have you tried so far? I've tried everything. I've tried the empo. I've tried every every kind of log that you can think of. How about balut? Balut. I love balut. I tried that in the states though. Oh, really? I had blue in the States. Um, uh, I have, a, a, I have a, a, a lot of uh, Filipino friends. Mm -hmm. um, I date Filipinas in the States. So um, I, I've tried those foods before, but they taste much different here. Uh, they actually taste better. Some of them taste better, some of them taste worse. But for the most part, the food, the Filipino food here is obviously much better than the Filipino food in the States. So yeah, let's let's talk about um, your stay in the Philippine house. So you have been staying there for like for quite a while. So you you play uh, you play along with like great players like um, of course um, Philippine champ Neo Cairo, and also there are like people who visit or stay at the FGTB house. Like for example the Japanese people from final round bats, and then I also um, saw one time uh, Zach Bennett was also there. So. What are what are your experience, um, like? Can you give us your comments about like the players at the FGTBS and how it helped you as a Marvel player? Well, right now it's, it, it it helps me and it hurts me to play with good people all the time because then when it comes to playing a person who's not as good as them, <coughs> right? It's hard to adapt for me, right? Some people can do it very well. Some people couldn't, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in games like Marvel Two beforehand, I didn't have. We all were on a similar level. Everyone can beat everyone, right? Yes. And when I'm playing pet players that are better than me, and I can beat those players or keep up with those players, and then I go play somebody who's going to do something, you know, that's not so smart, right? I find myself losing to those players, right? And it's 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 helped me a lot because I'm learning the game, and when I when I become a more well-rounded player, um, it all that experience will help. But for the most part, I mean, the, the last year wasn't so much about me getting better. It was about, it was about helping uh, Ryan, you know what I mean, because he already understood the game. So it was up to me being his training partner to, to, to put him in situations that other people are going to be able to put him in. You know, that's why he did so well in a lot of matchups. You know, it's one of the reasons that he did so well in a lot of the matchups because we sat there talking about, okay, this is what you should do when this happens. Okay, this is what you can do when this happens. So then when he's able, when, when he's playing, or when I'm playing, I could recognize it or he could recognize it and be like, okay, I know exactly what to do right now. And it, it worked, you know, 80% of the time, you know. Like, you know, I see him playing. I say, look, if this if his opponent does this one more time, Ryan's going to punish it with this. And two moves before Ryan did it. He punished it, you know, and I, I would call it. So um, uh, the other players like Ricky and Eduardo, uh, they're all really good players, um, but, you know, they're, they're, they're talented, right? Mm -hmm. Me and Ryan are not talented players, you know what I mean? We just work hard, you know what I mean? We're one of, the, one of the few people in the country who actually put the man hours into the game. We're talking anywhere from 10 to 16 hours a day, every day, right? Especially when it was training for Evo. I swear like we even played more than that. It would be like play, 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 eat, use the restroom, grab a snack, play, 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 play. The moment you get tired of playing, you continue to play. You play. Uh, Yipe said something that was really good at seasons meetings. He's like, he's like, that's the. He's like, a great player is not determined by how much they win. It's about how, 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 they, what they do with their losses. 
right? And so if those losses, those losses that you keep at, will turn into your wins as long as you keep playing. And that's kind of what I'm going through right now. So my losses will turn into my 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 losses right now will turn into my, will turn into my wins, which means all the work will pay off. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. Um, okay, so let's talk about like the latest event, which is Seasons Greetings Ascension. Mm -hmm. You participated in, um, I believe it's a, a first to ten match mm -hmm. with uh, OMG Sandre. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are your opinions on on OMG Sandre? Um, he's not he's not a solid player. He's um, like a landmine in a tournament. You know what I mean? He'll take a he he's, he could be though. I'm not saying anything bad about him. He could be a good player, but. Right now, he's just a landmine, something that somebody's just going to step on and blow up, oh. right? And and the, the, the thing was is that I, I wanted to make it known that I did not call him out, you know what I mean? Because I don't think he's as good as a player as me, right? I wouldn't call out, I don't call out players that I think are, that I don't think are better than me. If I'm ever, even though it's not my style to call out a player, right? Mm -hmm. um, if I ever was to call out a player, it'd be someone who I thought was better than me, so then me beating them would be worth something. The match against Oh My, oh my God, Sandra was just a pride thing. It meant nothing else than that, right? I didn't need that to tell me if I was a better player. I didn't need that to tell me that the team that I created, which is the team that Cho uses in Japan or in the you know, other side of the country, and uh, the team that he uses in the States. I built that team in, in FGTV 1.0 when I was having a character crisis. And I built that team because I took all those characters and kind of put them in an order, and I kind of took all those characters and said, okay, they should work extremely well together, right? And so one of the things was he, he didn't he didn't like the fact that I was saying that I, I I created that team. So it was like technically, let's be honest, right? Just for the video, technically he's not supposed to even be able to play that team because that was a stipulation. Stipulation was loser never touches the team. Again. Right? Yeah, yeah. He kept on playing. And he kept on playing. But I allowed him, I allowed him out of that, right? Because that's it that's the team he likes to use. But technically for the camera, for the people out there, just know when you guys see him playing that team, that's on borrowed time. Okay? <laughs> He's playing that team on borrowed time. Okay? But with my permission. So you got that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's talk about like another another issue. So this Sunday you're going to face Team Philippines in a Team USA versus Team Philippines match. Um, how do you? What are your opinions right now on the Philippine players? Filipino players are they're, they're really fun to play. It's it's really fun to play them because they're tricky. You know what I mean? I know Peter did something on me the other day that I was like, wow, that works. And I can think of situations where knowing that combo that he did with the team that he uses, because I use, I use a similar team, um, knowing that combo that he did would have got me out of a lot of bad situations, right? And, uh, uh, and uh, they're very, uh, they're like, um, like putty, you know what I mean? They'll take something they see that they really like, right? And they'll take something that you do and they'll use it on you, like in the next couple of matches, mm -hmm. right? And uh, the Filipino players are, are good. Um, they obviously practice a lot and play a lot, um, but the problem with it is that I don't think that they're gonna be good, on, that they're good under pressure, because they're never faced with the type of pressure that we're facing in America, where there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching, and they're on cameras, and you got people screaming in the back, and yelling and yelling and yelling. Yeah, that's a hostile environment. And it's a, it's, it's not hostile. It's just really a lot of pressure, mm. right? And I've been, you know, more than dec more than a decade of dealing with that, you know, that that environment of people. Mm. Uh, uh, I just don't think that they can beat us as Americans uh, as a whole, right? And I think that they would do well in the states, though, if they came to the states and played. Once they got past the shock of all that publicity around the match, or you know, because I mean? they're coming from the Philippines, so people would want to go and watch their matches. But uh, Peter's very good. Uh, there's a guy that plays Spider-Man. I don't know his name. Um, he plays Spider-Man. He's really, he's really tricky. But uh, 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 Filipino players are a lot like Japanese players or you know other players from overseas. Their offense is amazing, right? But their defense is really lacking. See, in America, um, you know, we practice a lot on defense, right? And yeah. our offense isn't always as good as theirs, right? But, you know, that's kind of like the difference, you know, okay. of the matches. Like, I know that a lot of your players here, when they touch you, you die, right? Mm -hmm. And if you don't die, they're going to put you in some sort of a mix-up. But if um, if I could say something to the players, just, you know, work on your defense as best as you can. Keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. But the players here are great. And they're extremely fun to play. Okay. 
So, any any last shout outs or any message to the Team Philippines in uh, this Sunday's event? I mean, you guys know you're not going to win, oh. right? <laughs> so, but we want to have fun, right? And if you guys do win, I'll shake your hand. Good stuff. I enjoyed playing you guys, but kind of like a snowball's chance in hell. You know what I mean? It's kind of <laughs> like one of those things. But I'm going to do my best to play very hard. I do not disrespect the players. I respect the players. They're very good. They, any one of those players can be any one of us American players. It's just highly unlikely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's my message. Good games. I hope to, I hope to have fun. I hope to, uh, I hope to show them some tricky stuff that they haven't seen yet. Yeah. And uh, I hope that, uh, I hope that uh, my American, my American friends, uh, Hiro, uh, Neo, and Ryan. I hope we just kind of like don't lose a match. That's what I really want to do. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'd like to thank you for this interview. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And yeah, this is this is Ape Shit from Team Pancan signing off. Peace. Oh, don't forget, you signed off already. Oh no, no. Don't forget, guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter at CJ Showstopper. Instagram. Um, you can follow uh, Neo at Golden Boy Neo. Um, uh, yeah, Twitter. It's forward slash golden uh, dot com forward slash golden boy neo. Then you got Ryan at uh, Filipino champ. F champ Ryan. F champ Ryan. Sorry. And uh, Hiro at Hiro Sheem sixty four. Uh, please follow us. We're going to be posting a lot of Twitter uh, pictures on our event and all kinds of fun things that we did. All the different things that we ate. There's a lot of food porn for you guys. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So make sure you follow me again, CJ Showstopper, just like it sounds. Thank you.